The Locomotive Story Season 1 Episode 9 Snowstorm of the Century Part 2 It was a cold day on the island of Sodor, and the snow was rushing across the island. The blizzard had finally covered the whole island. It was a strong one. Everyone was lighting their fireplace for warmth. Trucks were trying to clear the road. And the engines were clearing the tracks since everyone had to get home on time for Christmas. Of course, the snow was very thick, so it was tough for engines to get through, even Hero. This snow is so thick, I can't even get through it. I need to get through, I must get through. I can't do it. Oh! And, of course, Hero got stuck. Ah, uh, ah, uh, let me through, oh, I need to get through it. Then, Donald and Douglas arrived. Hello there, laddie. We've come to be a tad bit of help. Hi, we hope we can get you out. Okay, start pushing. On it. Hold on to your funnel, Hero. Donald and Douglas were pushing Hero with all of their might. It was very tough, but they were getting through the snow. And then... Aha! I'm through! Meanwhile... Dennis was delivering bricks for Wellsworth. Disaster lay ahead. Oh, oh no. no! Ow! Whoa! Dennis had finally came to a halt at the bottom of the hill, but he was damaged. I wish I have a six-month vacation twice a year. Then, Lexi was called to the island to help with the many jobs to do for the Christmas party. Hello there! Is anyone here? Lexi! Hello, sir! What may I help with? Well, one of our engines had fallen off the rails. Oh, what happened? According to his driver, he had flew off a cliff due to frozen points diverting him the wrong way, causing him to tumble down a hill, and that's why I need you today. You must help deliver the rest of the bricks to Wellsworth. Dart will have the trucks of bricks for you in the shunting yards. You can count on me! Hurry, we must get this tree to Wellsworth on time. It takes a long time to set up everything, you know. It's snowing hard. I have to get these task orders home on time for Christmas. Suddenly, Emily saw something ahead. Oh no! A snow hill! She slammed on her brakes. Why aren't my brakes working? Whoa! But it was too late. The passengers were thrown in their carriages. Emily had finally stopped by sliding into a snowbank. It was a terrible mess. Oh, I hope my passengers are okay. Some of them were fine and some of them weren't. The telephone lines were down. No one could call for help. Meanwhile, James was rushing through the snowy countryside when suddenly... What's that noise? <coughs> the snow is going everywhere. What are we going to do? I don't know. So James, Rickety, and ULP Van all became stuck. Here's your bricks that you're delivering. Thank you. You're welcome. I hope you make it to Wellsworth. I will. And then... Oh! oh! 
Are you okay? <coughs> yes, but why are you on this track? Well, it all began when Harold was looking out for things on the line. He had found branches on the track, so I was called. I guess I was called at the same time your schedule was through here. I don't know how I'm going to get back up. We'll have to call Rocky. I can't lift you. <sighs> I think I'll try to ram it through. Whoa, I'm stuck. I told you. Now I won't get you out. I thought it would work. And please get me out of the snowbank. He's right. We must fix this. <sighs> Fine. Thank you so much. Now me just need another plan. Maybe just back up and then we all push. Good idea. On three. One, two, three. And with a mighty crash, James burst through the snowdrift. Haha, -ha, we did it. The steelworks was very busy and luckily very warm inside. Those are uh, a lot of trucks you have there. Haha, <laughs> yeah. I have to deliver these to the other side of the steelworks. He was steadily climbing the incline when the rails crashed down for him to cross. Woohoo! Yeah! I always love going across here. Tracks extend! Whoa! Zio, you did that just in time! He started collecting gears, but suddenly he crashed into a truck left on the track by accident. The speed he was going downhill caused his truck to hurtle off the track. Oh no! I only delivered one gear! Ugh! Theo, I lost my trucks. There's no time for that now. I got news that Soto has, uh, called you to go there today to help with the, uh, Christmas party. That sounds super rad. I'm on my way. Hurricane? What is this mess? You can't leave this! I'll clean up later. This is important. I'm ready to race you, Birdie! Three, two, one, go! Haha, <laughs> Thomas, I'm winning! Let's see about that! Now I am! You can't catch me! I can't control my steering! Oh! Oh! Ow! Oh no! Birdie! I can't stop! Are you alright, Birdie? I can't pick up my passengers now. I think we're almost there. Whoa. Why is there a set of buffer here? Ugh, I wonder what's delaying us now. Uh, James? You better get going. This bridge seems old. You can't leave. There's a buffer block here. Hey! Who coupled up to me? Who's behind us? I don't know. Hey, get off me! James, help! Whoa! My coupling! Ugh, I can't move! Look out down there! Oh no! <laughs> this is horrible! And all the engines were delayed for Christmas. Will they be able to find out who caused all of this? And can they make it on time for Christmas? We'll find out in the next part.
of Snowstorm of the Century.